So before I dive into this video, I just kind of want to give you an explanation of what, what you're going to see, because you might miss um, what exactly the point is of this uh, particular drone video. I, uh, as most of you know, I recently got into the drone world. I just recently started flying and uh, really loved it. And uh, I've only owned the, my Mavic Pro for about a month or so now, but uh, uh, each flight I seem to take a little bit more uh, get a little bit more com comfortable and confident with it and push uh, push the limits uh, beyond what I've been comfortable doing before uh, so this in this particular flight uh, I take I use the lychee program which is a third-party software for flying uh, a DJI drone and um, I use the waypoint missions uh, so it'll fly by itself I'll establish the uh, flight uh, from my computer at, at home and I'll upload it to the Lychee app which will then upload it to the drone itself and it will fly entirely without my controls. Uh, of course I'll maintain visual on the drone, I'll maintain control of the drone if anything happens I have the joysticks to change things but uh, uh, this is how, how it's done and what it looks like. Okay well I should have been a little bit more descriptive in the intro but uh, in telling you that I actually begin this process in Google Earth as opposed to diving right into the Lychee Mission Hub uh, on the Lychee program. Uh, but in Google Earth, uh, Google does a really good job of giving a 3D rendering of the Earth and uh, they tell you, kind of give you a visual of where the buildings are, where your trees, any other obstacles might be uh, in in your flight path for this particular purpose. So, um, uh, so what I actually do here in in Google Earth is uh, establish a waypoint mission, which is right here. You can see my uh, path, add a path. Uh, I click that. I've already done it, so I don't want to click it now. But uh, if I were to, I created this pathway called Orbit Bain Park. Bain Park is the um, kind of a central park to my community. Uh, there's a library and a skate plaza and a big open field, lots of trees, beautiful park. Uh, and I actually live just a stone's throw from it. I, my house is over in this right here, uh, right next door to my house is this big gorgeous church with a parking lot, which I use a lot for my, you know, my landing and launching pad kind of thing. Now, most times I fly, I just kind of take off, go up, do a little kind of periscope flight, kind of get a lay of the land, look around and come back down. And I don't like to fly, you know, over unnecessarily over people's property and things like that. But with this, for this particular purpose, because I'm able to lay out the waypoints and exactly where I want the drone to fly, uh, I feel quite comfortable um, doing this. And of course, from here, I can actually keep a visual on my drone, so I'm not losing visual sight of, of the drone itself as it's flying. But uh, just to kind of give you an idea, if I were to click this Add Pathway, what you'd see is this. Um, edit. This is now Edit Path. I call it Orbit Bain Park. Um, I, I don't really do anything with any of these other settings other than the altitude, which I came over here and I established um, 54 meters, uh, which you can do the math. I think it's like 170 feet, 100 and something like that, 170, 180 feet. And, um, uh, and I don't know why it's always in meters on Google Earth, but it is in meters. Uh, I click this extend path to ground, which gives you this um, really good visual of exactly where the drone is going to be in relation to any other obstacles along the path. Um, and then, of course, set the altitude and hit OK. I drew out my pathways. These are all waypoints, all these lines are all the, all the waypoints. And from there, just save it save place as make sure you change it you have two options here as a kmz or kml file make sure you keep it as a kml file um, and i just save it right into onto my computer here uh orbit bain park hit save uh, I'll just want to replace it. But, uh, so anyway that's the um that's the way i start i start on google earth all right so as you can tell we have found our way over to the lychee mission hub on their website i've logged into my account here um, and we've already created the flight via waypoint on Google Earth that gave us a good visual of all the obstacles, the known obstacles in our way that at least Google Earth knows of. Um, so what you got to do here is uh, import that flight into Lychee. So just go to missions, import. As you can tell, it's already selected orbitbainpark.kml. I'll import that new mission. And immediately you've got the flight path all set up. Now the only thing you have to do in Lychee is uh, in the Mission Hub 
is change some of the drone specific settings that are not available in Google Earth. Uh, the first thing that I did was I, I needed to establish my focal points. For this flight, you can tell that it's defaulting. Uh, the headings on the drone are defaulted in this direction, which I think is just zero degree uh, focus. Um, all I did in here was, uh, this is that skate park I mentioned in Google Earth. Uh, make that focal point number one. And you can already tell that all the focal points have switched to, um, to that first one. This is that library that's in, in the middle of the park. I'd like that to be a focal point, say about waypoint seven. So I'll right click here, make that focal point number two. And the default's gonna set, keep it at focal point number one. The whole, the whole flight's gonna be focal point number one. Uh, so all I do here is um, go to like say waypoint seven, click that and point of interest, it's this setting right here, point of interest two. And you can just do that from each point on your waypoint that you wanna switch it to. So that is that. Um, and you can, I, I've already gone ahead and done this before, but you can go around and set each waypoint uh, to the various focal points or point of interest that uh, you want the drone facing on its flight. Okay, so as you can tell, we've got the drone hovering. Uh, we're sitting at about 180 feet and I am actively pushing uh, the waypoint mission to the drone. It accepted the mission and it is now flying entirely on its own, which is a strange feeling to say the least. Uh, it's a little disconcerting, uh, not having your fingers on the joysticks and watching your drone fly away. But it is flying the waypoint mission as we speak. Now one thing I'm noticing right here is that I apparently didn't establish uh, the angle in which the camera should be facing. I, I established the focal points or the points of interest, but I, I guess I didn't tell the camera to pan down um, while flying through these waypoints. So here I'm going to actually pan the camera down myself. Uh, this is that's the only manual control I have over the drone right now as I am panning the camera up and down um, but otherwise it is flying completely on its own uh, there's that skate park that we talked about in the in Google Earth when we were laying out the mission uh, people skating on the park are obviously not actors those are real people just happen to get lucky catching them there there's that library that we are focal that is our focal point at this point, the point of interest. That library, it's Bain Library, is in the middle of Bain Park. It's like the center of the community in which I live. And here we just happen to catch some folks playing volleyball in that open field uh, right next to the park, or right, I'm sorry, right next to the library. Um, happy little coincidence. Had no idea they would be there. Um, but again, just kind of gives you gives you a point of interest for the um, for the purposes of this video. I often wonder if folks on the ground down there, while this is happening, notice that the uh, drone is flying right over them. But there's the uh, library again. There's uh, kind of a little shot of the surrounding community, and we're heading towards the end of our. Waypoint mission. It's actually a really short one, kind of quick, but a good first attempt. A big swing as the drone starts heading home. I wanted it to flying towards my house as it comes towards that parking lot, which is my standard kind of launch and landing pad. Uh, the parking lot is owned by the church. Uh, you can see right there, that's my daughter riding her bike around in circles in the parking lot. And at this point, the waypoint mission is over. I'm taking over manual controls and I will be bringing the drone in for a landing. That's the end of this uh, waypoint mission. Well that's it. So that's uh, that was a fantastic flight. It did exactly as I had hoped. Um, it flew flawlessly. I, I still have to get used to some of the controls. Um, some of the settings in terms of like where the camera should be pointing, gimbal controls, that kind of thing. But uh, all in all, that was a pretty amazing flight, though, albeit sh short and 
to sweet and to the point, uh, it did what exactly it was advertised to do. It flew completely on its own. It made a, uh, perfect turns, um, and, and most importantly, it came right back to me. So, um, I'd say that was a success, and I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video.